today I'm going to use a very quick way to explain about trigonometric function and then today is more on the identified part I mean most of the time he will ask you like like proof proof this equation will equal to tangent 2x or he asks you to prove something will equal to something so today I only will explain the trigonometric function in this part okay because most of uh, most of the people in my Facebook page he requests for this part okay before I start this chapter first okay we have to know about the formula okay here is some methods I learned from the Blangi Papisa one okay here, this is something uh, help you to remember some of the formula let's say you draw a one here this is one and then draw a circle and then you draw two lines like this okay and then this one will equal to sine angle cos angle okay and then you draw one more line here you put tangent angle because normally we are sine cos tangent like this but then this time you don't put your tangent here you put tangent over here okay and then okay okay and then I draw three more lines okay this line is connected to the sign but then this is opposite of the sign means one over sign okay one over sign what we call for one over sign we call it cosine angle this will mean one over sign okay one over sign okay and then for for this one this one is one over tangent one over tangent we call it cotangent okay cotangent is one over tangent angle and then one over cos we call it second okay when you see second angle will mean one over cos angle okay So, if you see this one, okay, you have to remember what is 1 over tangent, what is 1 over cos, and what is 1 over sine. Okay, normally the way I remember is those have three alphabet one, C-O-T and S-E-C. Okay, you remember the last, the last, last word here. Do you see the T here? T will mean 1 over tangent. Do you see a C here? C is 1 over cos. So the last one, this one, cosec, cosec is the last one. Uh. You got one over cos, one over tangent. You know this one is one over sine. Okay, this is the way I, re I remember cotangent, second, and cosecond. Most of the students can remember this one, but then they will get confused with second and cosecond. Okay, when you see three alphabet one, S or C, the last alphabet is C, mean one over cos. Uh. And then the other one is one over sine, angle. Okay, if you can remember this one, Actually, from here you can see another three very important formula is tangent will equal to sine over cos. Tangent will equal to sine over cos. So I write here tangent angle will equal to sine angle over cos angle. Okay? And then cotangent will equal to cos over sine. Cotangent will equal to cos over sine. So I write here cotangent angle will equal to cos angle over sine angle because these two formula is the is some formula is you you will always use this one actually this one you you can do a lot of way like second actually equal to tangent over sine okay and let's say cos will equal to cotangent over second or cosecond can be cotangent over cos but then you only need to know these two is the most famous one and then this this three is very important you have to remember this okay if you can remember all this then we go for those got square one okay I, I will add three more line here one line I add here and then I do some uh, like shared region I add one more line here I do some shared region I add one more line here I do some shared region you will see some symbol like radioactive okay what is the purpose of this one this one is this one plus this one will equal to this one this one plus this one will equal to this one this one plus this one will equal to this one but they all must have square therefore the first formula I got is sine square plus cos square will equal to one so sine square 
angle plus cos square angle will equal to 1. Okay? And then tangent square angle plus 1 square will equal to second square angle. Therefore, tangent square angle plus 1 will equal to second square angle. Okay? The last one is 1 plus cotangent square angle will equal to cosecant square angle. So this one is 1 plus cotangent square angle will equal to cosecant square angle. Okay? Okay, this three, three of this formula is very important to do the trigonometry function that identify. Of course, these two is very important also. Okay, and then this is very basic for trigonometry function. I think you have to remember all this. Okay, and then, okay, then we go, we go to the question. Okay, the first question here. Okay, this is the three mark question. So, what is the meaning by three mark question? This one you normally you only will see in SPM paper two, and then I think this one is something like part A. So three mark question means that actually this question you will only have two to three steps, then you can straight away get the answer. So normally we will prove the left hand side will equal to right hand side. Mean we will do for our left hand side one. Okay, so that means we start from here. So let's say two tangent x divided by 2 minus second square x. Okay, most of the time we will change those got square one. Because tangent x, uh, you actually you only got one choice to change. You change to sine, sine, uh, sine angle over cos angle. But then if you change to this one, and it doesn't help you to get the tangent 2x. Because tangent 2x, you must have all, all all equal to tangent here. So another information I got here is second square. Actually, second square x is re related to the ten tangent one. If you know about this this formula, you see tangent square angle, uh, uh, second square angle will equal to tangent square angle plus one. Therefore, I can change this one to tangent. So what I do is two tangent x. Okay, I change two minus. Okay. Second square angle will equal tangent square angle plus one. So I write the whole thing tangent square angle plus one. And then I solve it. Two tangent x over okay two minus tangent square angle minus one. Go negative for both. So two minus one we got one. Minus tangent square angle, I write minus tangent square angle. Then this is tangent 2x. That's all. Most of the time, we only change those have square one. Okay, normally we will change, change for like tangent square angle, second square angle, or cosecant square angle, or cotangent square angle. Most of the time, we change those got square one. But then sometimes we do change for size, or we change for like second or cosecant. Okay, let's have a look on the second question. Okay. For this one, okay, we prove the left hand side one. Okay, he okay. Before you do, you have to think how to get one plus sine x only because bottom actually you got one minus sine x. Okay, okay. This it, before you start to do this, you have to know one formula for the bottom part is like a square minus b square. You will get a plus b multiple a minus b. Okay, you have to remember about this formula, then only you can do the bottom part. Okay, because now my objective is change the bottom part to become cos, cos square x. In order to change to cos square x, I have to apply this formula. Because sine square x plus cos square x will equal to 1. So if I can change to bottom become, I can change the bottom become 1 minus sine square x, then I can get the cos square x. Because cos square x plus sine square will equal to 1. If cos square x plus sine square x will equal to 1, then I move the cos square x to another side, or I move the sine square x to this side. So cos square angle will equal to 1 minus sine square angle. Okay, then if I got this one, I can change to cos square angle. 
If I can change the cross square angle, I can simplify the cross square angle. So, of course, this one also based on some experience. Uh. So you need to do more about this kind of question, then you will have more experience to solve this kind of question. Okay, actually for, for this proof thing, actually it's very hard to teach. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I start to do now. Cos square x divided by 1 minus sin x. Okay, in order to change to this one, a square minus b square, I know I have to multiple, now I got a minus b. A minus B. I have to multiply another A plus B. So I multiply 1 plus sine X. A plus B, A minus B, then I can change to A square minus B square. So I multiply this one on the bottom, then I multiply this one on the top also. 1 plus sine X. Okay, then what I will have is, I will got A plus B, A minus B, I will got A square minus b square sine square x okay and then the bottom okay i stay sine square x one plus sine x okay and then one minus sine square x i can change to cos x because from the formula sine square angle plus cos square angle will equal to one so from this formula i know cos square angle equal to one minus sine square angle i got one minus sine square angle so this one i can change to Okay, I can change to cos square angle and then this one top I remain cos square angle 1 plus sin x. Okay, and then cos square angle and co eh, cos square x. Okay, cos square x and cos square x I can simplify. Then I will have 1 plus sin x. Therefore, proof. Okay, so this is this is something very famous in 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 this part so you must always re remember when you bottom you got something like a minus b you can actually multiple a plus b onto it and then you can change to uh, a square minus b square so now i can change to one square minus sine square x because in order to use these three type of uh, these three kind of formula you must have square in all the sine cos tangent or second or cotangent or even co uh, cosine Okay, so must have square. So in order to add a square here, yeah, you have to know because if in this question you only multiply the sine angle into it, you will got sine angle minus sine square angle. Then we will get very confused. So most of the time you have to use uh, the method like this. Okay, so let's have a look. last example. Okay, this one. He said prove that. Second x cos second x minus cotangent x will equal to tangent x. Okay, for this one, this one you do not have any square here. So when you do not have any square here, you have to try to use these three formula to solve it. Okay, okay. My objective is to get tangent x. So first thing, I write second x cos second x minus cotangent x. Okay, when I got nothing here, I got nothing on between, mean actually this one is multiple. The second x will multiple the cos second x and then minus cotangent x. So the first thing, this is minus, so I trying to change this one to sine cos and tangent only. Because I, okay, because it's very hard for me to get tangent from, from them because they have no square. It's got square, I know actually second square can help me to get tangent square, but then here got no square. So second x is equal to 1 over cos x. Okay, cos second x is equal to 1 over sine x. And then minus cotangent x is equal to 1 over tangent x. But if I put 1 over tangent x, I cannot change the bottom become tangent. So in this example, I do not want to change cotangent to 1 over tangent. I change cotangent to cos over sine. Because later I have to make their dominator become the same. So I change to this one cos x over sine x. Okay, and then, okay, because it's minus, my objective is change their dominator become the same. So how, how to change? This is cos x multiple sine x, so I multiple cos x here. Multiple cos, cos x on the bottom, and then I have to multiple cos x on the top also. Okay, 
then their denominator becomes the same already. Cos x, sin x, cos x, sin x. So I draw a long, long line. So this is cos x, sin x. Okay, and then one multiple one, I got one. Minus, this is what? Cos, cos x multiple cos x, I got minus cos square x. Okay, and then I know cos square x, I can change to 1 minus i square x. So this one, I change to 1, 1 minus sine square x divided by cos x sine x. Okay, and then, okay, and then this one, 1 minus 1, I will got 0. And then negative minus sine square x, I will got sine square x here. Divided by cos x sine x. Okay, sine square x, you mean sine x multiple sine x. So th that means I can simplify sine x with a square. That means now only I have sine x over cos x. Sine x over cos x, according to my formula here, sine x over cos x is tangent x. So therefore, I can get tangent x. See? Okay, got tangent x. Then, proof. Okay, so for this chapter, you must very be careful with the square. Sometimes you need to like multiply some, something into it to make it have square, then only you can change. But then most of the time, it won't be so complicated because this is only three mark question. This one considered quite long already for a three mark question. But normally you can, you need to only do three step. Maximum is four step, you can get the answer. If you like do until seven step, x step, you still haven't get the answer, you, you know you got something wrong, wrong already. Okay, I hope this video can help you. Thanks for watching.